Hello, my name is DB, and I'm in DB Studios. Welcome to All Things Brass and Technology. Yes, today I want to talk about a technical exercise for the trumpet or for any instrument. It was shown to me by saxophonist Antoine Rooney. He is the younger brother of the great Wallace Rooney. Wallace showed it to Antoine, and Woody Shaw showed it to Wallace. So it was handed down, all right? Now, when you hear this exercise, you may say, well, that didn't come from Woody, that came from blah, 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 blah. I don't know. All I'm telling you is what I lived. And it came to me from Antoine, Wallace to Antoine, Woody to Wallace. So. I want to share this with you today on the channel. Let's get it. Okay, so I'm going to teach you this uh, exercise in the air, which means uh, just by ear. Hey, listen, man. You know, we live in two worlds out here, man. There's one world where it's all ear. You got to learn all your parts by ear or they just, you know, give you a CD or MP3s or some kind of record, the recording device, say, hey, learn the parts. You dig? And then there's another world where it's all music and you just read it. You got to be able to exist in both worlds. Call me a liar, but it's true. You dig? Hold on, man. Let me make sure I'm all set, man. Yeah, it's looking all right. Yeah, you dig? So that's what's happening. So let's get it. Here we go. All right, so let me give you the cell or the pattern. Now, I will be talking in trumpet key, which is B flat, because I know there's a lot of people that come to this channel that aren't trumpet players, right? So I'm just letting uh, the non B flat instruments know that I am talking in B flat. Okay, so you do your transposition. Okay, so this exercise will be in the key of C, right? And so Let's go through the formalities. The first way I'm going to show you this exercise is this way. I love this. Yeah, dig. I'm going to show you the valve combinations, right? Here we go. Watch my fingers. C, B, C sharp, C, D, D flat, C, B. I'll do it again. C, B, C sharp, C, D, D flat, C, B. Okay, that's the cell of the pattern. Now, I say C sharp as I'm ascending and I say D flat as I'm descending. That's the way I was taught. So some people may say, well, why'd you say C sharp and D flat? When I'm ascending, I say C sharp. When I'm descending, I'll say D flat. That's just the way I was taught. Okay, so there's the pattern. Now let me give you the pattern in regards to half steps and whole steps. So this is the second way. So start on C, go down a half step to B, go up a whole step to C sharp, come down a half step to C, go up a whole step to D, then come chromatically down from D all the way to B. So D, D flat, C, B. D, D flat, C, B. And that's the end of the pattern. Yes. Okay, now let me play it for you. And the trumpet that I'll be using to play in this video is this. Mm, it's pretty. It's pretty. This is a Lotus Trumpet by Adam Rapper. Yes. This amazing 
Adam Rapper is a real smart guy. He's a great player. We know that. He's very smart, man. He's making some great trumpets. And I got my hands on this. And he knows that I love copper bells. And this is a copper bell. Bronze bell flare. Look at that. You can see maybe, I don't know if you can see in the video the different colors, but it's a bronze bell flare and copper bell. Yeah, man, it's killing, boy. Look, look at the pretty valve tops. Look at that. Yeah, man. You know, we're, we're in discussion where um, he, be, he may be making me a five valve trumpet. So um, it's going to be able to go down the fourth and also be quarter tone. But it's going to have some deep technology to it. So we're talking about it. So I'm very, very excited to be talking about a design for trumpet with Lotus. Lotus trumpet. So it's exciting. I love tech. Yes. So I'll be using this horn for the examples. Let's get it. Let's do it. All right. I'm going to play it two times. BPM 70. Nice and comfortable. Okay, so now we just take that cell and we just move it chromatically moving up. That's pretty much it. And it's eight notes, right? It's an eight note cell. We take that cell that I just demonstrated and we just move it chromatically. It starts on C, then once you finish the, the cell, you do it on C sharp, then D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B and see that's pretty much it let me demonstrate that and then that's it we keep it moving <laughs> hey that little exercise is tricky man it's fun though. You can't tell me that exercise is not fun, especially when you do it down in low register when you're implementing that third finger, the weaker finger. You know, I played it, I, I took the tempo up to 100. But you know, always start everything slow and increase the tempo. I just wanted you to see it with a little more tempo so you could see them fingers moving and how it exercises all three of those fingers. It's a fantastic exercise man it is fun I, I dig it I, I I play that every day just to get the fingers moving Woody Shaw was something else man that was a great trumpet player man wrote some great music too man I'm trying to let me see I'm trying to remember some of them tunes that he wrote uh, let me see Woody Shaw composition it's called Rosewood let me play a little bit This next Woody Shaw composition is called Organ Grinder. I really dug the way that Woody would do some songs with a bit of a backbeat, like it all comes back to you. This composition wasn't written by Woody, it was written by the fantastic pianist Mr. Gums. But um, it's a beautiful composition. Yeah.